Now I just want to show you quick measures. Now quick measures is a relatively new feature to Power BI Desktop, but it's a really, really great evolution of, of what you can do in Power BI Desktop. I'm pretty sure that Microsoft are going to, in the future, try and automate as much of this stuff as they possibly can. And I think they've done a really good job. They've started off really well. Quick Measures is a really good start to that. So what I want to do here is I want to show you how you can actually, without writing much code or DAX formula, actually get uh, get get some reasonable calculations going inside your um, in, inside your models inside your in, inside your reports. So if I just um, I'll show you how to actually get to quick measures. So if I just go total profits here, you'll see that uh, there's these three dots on the side, and if you click those, you have an option to select quick measures. So if I select that, you'll see that um, brings up this pop-up box, and then you have all of these options, select, select a calculation, and you have all of these options with which you can select to then get a calculation. So let's actually just go through a few and see if they see if we can achieve what we want to achieve. There's a couple of things that I don't quite like about how it is set up right now, and I'm sure they will be be improved. Um, and you can obviously post an idea just like with anything in Power BI Desktop. But as I say, it's a really great start, and I think it's going to help a lot in the future in getting people up to speed and how to actually utilize DAX uh, within Power BI. So first of all, what you can do, you can do simple filters here. I'm going to jump to here first. So simple filters, so filtered values. So what we might want to do here, we might want to recreate something that I've created earlier on in, um, in an earlier video, where we might want to uh, just filter out profits for a particular area, for example. So uh, if I go to location here, I can go and find any of my dimensions, and I might go find my, uh, let's state code, and I'm going to, uh, I'll just drag that inside i drag that inside the filter and then see it comes up with all of your selections or it's pretty 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 smart and then all you have to do is go select like that so instead of having to write the calculate function with filter you can actually do it here and then if i push ok you see here that uh, it brings total profits for fl which is a good, a good naming convention to start which is great and then it actually just creates the simple formula for you now this is actually written, uh, written slightly different to how how I would generally do it, but um, but as as, as uh, I've mentioned before, there's multiple ways that you can get the same answer, and in, in especially with DAX. So I wouldn't be too concerned. There's, there's there's multiple ways you can do this. So if you can if you drag that into the table, you'll see now we have total profits for FL, which is which is exactly what we want. If we wanted to change it, we we absolutely could. And very quickly we can start generating a lot of uh, a lot of these insights which is which is fantastic so let's go through a couple more uh, and i'll show you what you can do so if we go uh, we've got some other examples here so let's go uh, running total here and so i'm just going to put running total and then if i put in uh, my dates column there and go okay you see here that it brings up another um, another measure now here's here's something I want to uh, I just want to highlight and and what I feel um, is a bit of a downside of quick measures. Well, it's not really a downside. There's there's, there's so many positives of quick measures. The only thing is that uh, the only thing you have to recognise with quick measures is I believe that you still have to have a really good understanding of what tax is and how to write tax because if you look at this formula, how if you were just starting out, how would you know? what is going on there. I mean, I, 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 even I have to um, have a really good think myself about exactly what is happening in all of these different DAX measures, right? Uh, and, and how they are being used in combination with each other. I mean, if you don't have a, a really sound understanding of Calculate, you won't have any clue what is going on here. You also need to understand what filter is doing, what all selected is doing, is on or after is doing, is etc. etc. et cetera. So there's a number of different things you have to really understand quite well there. But even though it's fantastic that very quickly you can start creating these. Now, the other concern with quick measures that you just have to recognize is you really have to have a good understanding of the the, the, the base theory of DAX, right? Because you'll be getting results like this, which is great, you've got a result, but then you have to understand well, why you're actually getting that result. We have to understand context, obviously, and then you have to understand how context works within this formula, right? Because um, just to give you a heads up, in this one formula that we're receiving here, there is three types of contexts that are occurring for this result, for any of these results to happen. So you do still, even with quick measures, have to have a pretty good understanding of what's going on in DAX. But in saying that, they're awesome. 
quick measures is awesome you can get some really um, from simple to quite advanced uh, f formulas done uh, just with clicks instead of having to write it personally though I actually can see I can honestly write my DAX formula faster than it is to, cl uh, to click here so you can get to a point where you know you can actually write these out a bit quicker and you, you can branch out into measures a lot a lot easier as well so there's lots of other things you can do. You can do simple addition, subtraction, so on and so forth. They're, they're actually adding to this all the time. I mean, even in the past few months from uh, the date that I'm recording this, they've they've included uh, maybe five to ten additional uh, quick measures. So so it's really great. The the evolution is happening very fast. Now, so we we also have options for time intelligence here, but I will. Uh, let you in on one thing that you have to recognize is that this only works with the inbuilt hierarchy that uh, that is in Power BI Desktop. So if I go quarter to date here, uh, let's actually let's actually go month to date. So if I drag in my date column here, it will work. But if I go OK and I drag that inside here, it doesn't work because what happens is that you have to use because what I've done is I've said um, I want just the date, not the date hierarchy. So it only actually works if you have this entire hierarchy here to uh, lay against that. So it's something to do with the inbuilt internal way that they've created quick measures. It needs to internally under, you know, it needs to be able to read this hierarchy for some reason. So if, if I actually try to get rid of this hierarchy and just show the date, uh, so if I just grab the date here. So I don't want this hierarchy, I just want the date. It actually errors out, which is really frustrating. But um, but anyway, it's just you can you can get the result that you want. It's just, uh, unfortunately, it has to be um, grouped by the Power BI hierarchy, as they've mentioned inside this um, inside this, uh, this, this measure here that they've created automatically. So um, so you can do it, um, but but honestly, I, 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 this hierarchy annoys me. It annoys most people if you read a lot of the blogs and a lot of the forums. So um, so that's just a just a heads up there. Um, if I just return back to here, so uh, I've shown you how to actually create the month to date calculation or or a cumulative total pattern that achieves that for you. So um, so so you you should know you should know how to actually you should know how to actually get to that point um, uh, point anyway. So I'm just going to wrap up there. Quick measures, as I mentioned, it's, it's, it's a seriously great evolution. I really like the fact that um, they're trying to automate some of this stuff. But I, um, after reviewing it and, and utilizing it myself uh, quite frequently, I would say that you just you still have to have a very good understanding of DAX, or um, you'll get lost very quickly in um, in the formulas that they've created for you, or uh, you'll be receiving results and you'll just have no idea why you're getting the result and you could be actually putting incorrect information out there. So so it's just something to, to truly recognize before you sort of dive deep and just um, start using quick measures uh, uh, for, for everything that you do.